So today we are going to be doing a triptych triple split paint pour. But first, let's enjoy the intro. <music> Starting with our base, our base is black, I'm using Mars Black from Artist Loft. I only use water to mix, so nothing else, no medium. My medium is good old H2O. Um, we're going to be doing a triple split as I mentioned earlier, so it's going to be black, white, black. So we're going to put our black down and then we are going to blow it out like so. So while I'm blowing this out, you guys, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, throw me a comment, leave me some little hearts down there to let me know, like, you know, if you like what I'm doing, um, or let me know that you don't like what I'm doing, because, you know, any engagement is engagement, right? <laughs> I hope you guys don't say you don't like it, because it'll hurt my feelings. But yeah, we're just going to blow this all out. This is a client piece. We are using three 15 by 30. So that is a lot of area. So if you are not patient, I would not recommend doing this type of arts because, oh, it takes a lot, especially if you're doing big canvases. Cause like, like I'm doing, I'm doing some really large canvases. I rarely do small ones. You see the small ones back there. Those are 16 by 20. Those are the smallest that I do. I don't generally go smaller than that. I've done 12 by 12s, but I only do those in like groups. So it's never just like one 12 by 12. But yes, be patient, be diligent, work hard, blow hard. I don't think I want to say that. So right here I am just gonna be wiping up some of the black because I don't want that to come through on the white that I'm about to put down I'm just using a paper towel and now we're going in with white this is titanium white by Liquitex I do not like to use artist loft white because for some reason it doesn't matter what I do the paint pigments always break up so it kind of cracks as it's drying when I use Artist Loft white. So I prefer to use titanium white and this is by Liquitex. It's my favorite. So now I'm just going to go around and make sure that I'm getting the edges of the canvas. Um, you could paint the edges beforehand, but I like how the drips look. So I still go around and I just make sure that it is coated evenly so that when like the fluid art drips, it looks all pretty. We're going to be going in with this turquoise green by Academy Grim. I think it's called Grumbacker, Grimbacher. So we're taking that split along the bottom and along the top because remember it's a triple split. We are going in with just a little bit more of this turquoise green. I said green. Who am I? 
a freaking preschooler <laughs> now this is by artist loft this blue we're about to use and it is a light blue um i don't mind using the colors by artist loft but for some reason like i said the white from artist loft the flow white not to be mistaken with the other like the actual flow art it just doesn't work for me so we're putting that right along the top um i would usually go in with a metallic or something like that but this was a client piece and he wanted me to put gold stripes on it um that's not going to be in this video you guys <laughs> and so we're just going to take a little bit of white not too much because we want to flood the color we're going to flood it just a little bit not too much because if it's too much paint on the canvas it will move as it dries and it's already gonna move as it dries but if it's too much paint on the canvas it'll move way too much and it just will look different and you'll be upset so as I mentioned we are gonna go in and flood these colors with some of the white I didn't want to add any more black because as I said I don't want too much color on the canvas so we're just going to do quick strokes of pushing the white over the color. Um, I learned this from Rinska Downa. This actually helps it to spread more. Um, you don't have to do this, but if you don't, you want to make sure you have enough paint on the canvas to move. But sometimes you may put too much. So, you know, just, just be careful. Just think about that. And now we're going to blow it out. So I'm really liking how it turns out. You can see how beautiful some of the cells are. I'm gonna take you guys down a little bit so that you can see it up close. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. And I will see you next time with another. I hope you guys like this. Mwah. Good night, goodbye. Thank you for joining.